Molluscum contagiosum is a viral skin infection that primarily affects humans, particularly children, but it can occur in individuals of all ages. This condition is characterized by the formation of small, raised, flesh-colored or pearly white bumps or lesions on the skin. These growths are typically painless but can be itchy and sometimes become inflamed. Molluscum contagiosum is a relatively common and benign condition, but it can be contagious, as the name suggests. It is caused by a virus, specifically the molluscum contagiosum virus. This virus is a member of the poxvirus family, and it is responsible for the characteristic skin lesions and other symptoms associated with the condition. The primary and most characteristic symptom of molluscum contagiosum is the presence of small, raised, flesh-colored, or pearly white lesions on the skin. These growths, known as mollusca or molluscum bodies, are typically smooth and round. They often have a central dimple or depression, resembling a tiny pearl or pimple. The lesions are often painless, but they can be itchy, which may lead to discomfort and a desire to scratch. In some cases, the lesions can become red, inflamed, or swollen due to irritation and scratching which can lead to secondary bacterial infection. This is more common in individuals with a weakened immune system. As molluscum contagiosum progresses, some of the lesions may spontaneously rupture, releasing a white, waxy substance. This substance is rich in viral particles and is highly contagious. It can lead to the spread of the virus to other areas of the body or to other individuals. The size of individual molluscum contagiosum lesions can vary, ranging from a pinhead to a pencil eraser. They are generally small, but clusters of lesions may develop in the affected area. The number of lesions can also vary, with some individuals having only a few and others developing many. Molluscum contagiosum lesions can appear on any part of the body. Common sites for these growths include the face, neck, armpits, arms, hands, and genital area. However, they can also be found on the trunk, legs, and less frequently, on the palms, soles of the feet, and even inside the mouth. The duration of molluscum contagiosum can vary widely. In many cases, the lesions will resolve on their own over several months to a few years, but they may persist longer in some individuals. The natural course of the infection is influenced by the person's immune system and other factors. This condition can affect individuals of all ages but certain risk factors may increase the likelihood of contracting the virus or experiencing more severe symptoms. Molluscum contagiosum is most commonly seen in children, particularly those between the ages of 1 and 10. This is partly because children often have close physical contact with others, making it easier for the virus to spread. Close skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected individual is the primary mode of transmission for molluscum contagiosum. Children and individuals who engage in activities involving physical contact, such as wrestling or sports, are at higher risk of exposure to the virus. In adults, molluscum contagiosum can be transmitted through sexual contact, particularly in the genital and pubic areas. Engaging in unprotected sexual activity with an infected partner increases the risk of contracting the virus in this manner. Individuals with weakened or compromised immune systems are at an increased risk of developing molluscum contagiosum. This includes people with conditions like HIV and AIDS, individuals undergoing organ transplantation, or those receiving chemotherapy. Immunodeficiency can lead to a more severe and prolonged course of the infection. Individuals with eczema or atopic dermatitis, which are inflammatory skin conditions, may be more susceptible to molluscum contagiosum. The compromised skin barrier associated with these conditions may make it easier for the virus to enter the skin. Individuals who have previously had molluscum contagiosum can develop new infections if they come into contact with the virus again. The presence of the virus on their skin may serve as a source of infection for themselves and others. Environments where people share close quarters, such as schools, daycare centers, gyms, and swimming pools, can facilitate the spread of molluscum contagiosum. These settings increase the risk of direct and indirect contact with the virus. Poor hygiene practices, such as inadequate hand washing, can contribute to the transmission of the virus. Keeping hands clean and avoiding contact with the lesions can help reduce the risk of infection. Sharing items like towels, razors, or clothing with an infected person can lead to indirect transmission of the virus. It is advisable to avoid sharing personal items to reduce the risk. The diagnosis of molluscum contagiosum is typically based on the clinical appearance of the characteristic skin lesion.
However, in some cases or for confirmation, healthcare professionals may use additional diagnostic methods. The healthcare provider will review the patient's medical history, including any underlying health conditions that may affect the immune system, such as HIV and AIDS or a history of organ transplantation, any pre-existing skin conditions, and potential exposure to the virus. A healthcare provider, such as a dermatologist or general practitioner, will conduct a physical examination of the affected individual. They will look for the presence of small, flesh-colored or pearly white dome-shaped bumps on the skin with a central dimple or indentation. The appearance of these lesions is often sufficient for a preliminary diagnosis of molluscum contagiosa. In some cases, if there is uncertainty about the diagnosis or if the lesions do not respond to treatment as expected, a skin biopsy may be performed. During a skin biopsy, a small sample of the affected tissue is collected and sent to a laboratory for microscopic examination. This can help confirm the presence of molluscum contagious by identifying the characteristic viral inclusion bodies within the skin cells. In many cases, especially in healthy individuals, healthcare providers may recommend no treatment and opt for a watchful waiting approach. This means simply monitoring the progress of the condition. Molluscum contagiosum lesions often resolve spontaneously within months to a few years as the body's immune system clears the virus. During this time, it's crucial to avoid scratching or picking at the lesions to prevent the virus's spread. Cryotherapy involves freezing the lesions using liquid nitrogen or another cryogen. This causes the molluscum bodies to blister and eventually fall off. It is a common and effective treatment option, especially for single or isolated lesions. Curatage is a procedure in which a healthcare provider scrapes off the molluscum bodies using a sterile instrument called a curette. This can be effective for larger or more persistent lesions. It may be performed after cryotherapy to remove any remaining tissue. Laser therapy uses laser light to destroy the molluscum bodies. It can be particularly effective for lesions in sensitive areas or for individuals who wish to avoid physical contact treatments. Needle pricking involves using a fine needle to puncture the molluscum body, releasing the viral material. This can stimulate an immune response to clear the infection. It's a less common method but may be considered when other treatments are not an option. Certain topical medications, such as those containing amiquamod or tretinoin, may be prescribed to stimulate the immune response and encourage the body to clear the viral infection. These medications are typically used for more extensive cases or when other treatments are not suitable. In cases where the patient's immune system is compromised, such as in individuals with HIV or organ transplant recipients, antiviral medications may be prescribed to manage molluscum contagiosum. Most individuals with this condition experience a mild course, and the lesions resolve on their own over time without significant complications. However, there are potential complications and concerns associated with molluscum contagiosum. When the molluscum contagiosum lesions are scratched, they can become irritated and prone to bacterial infections. These secondary infections may lead to redness, swelling, and pus formation around the lesions. Staphylococcus and streptococcus are common bacteria that can cause these infections. Prompt medical attention is necessary if signs of infection occur. Molluscum contagiosum is highly contagious. Scratching, picking, or squeezing the lesions can rupture them, releasing the virus and facilitating its spread to other areas of the body. Additionally, the virus can be transmitted to other individuals through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact or via contaminated objects. Molluscum contagiosum lesions, especially when they appear on the face, neck, or other visible areas, can cause cosmetic concerns. Some individuals may feel self-conscious or experience lowered self-esteem due to the presence of these lesions. In such cases, treatment may be sought to remove the lesions and alleviate cosmetic concerns. While molluscum contagiosum usually resolves within months to a few years, it can persist longer in some individuals, particularly those with weakened immune systems. It may also recur in individuals with a history of the condition, as the virus can remain in the skin even after the visible lesions have cleared. Molluscum contagiosum lesions can sometimes trigger or exacerbate eczema in affected areas. Eczema is characterized by dry, itchy, and inflamed skin. This can cause discomfort and further complicate the management of the condition. In some cases, molluscum contagiosum can occur in sensitive areas such as the eyes, mouth, or genitals. 
In such locations, the condition can be more challenging to manage and may require specialized care. For some individuals, the presence of molluscum contagiosum can lead to emotional distress and anxiety, particularly in children and adolescents. Supportive care and open communication with a healthcare provider can be helpful in addressing psychosocial concerns. While complete prevention may not always be possible, following specific measures can help reduce the risk of contracting or spreading the virus. Frequent hand washing with soap and water is essential to prevent molluscum contagiosum transmission, especially after contact with lesions. Refrain from scratching or squeezing lesions, which can rupture them and spread the virus to other areas. Cover molluscum lesions with clothing or bandages to prevent skin-to-skin -skin contact and virus transmission. Do not share personal items, like towels or razors, which can transmit the virus from one person to another. Individuals with genital molluscum contagiosum should use condoms and abstain from sex during active infection. Avoid swimming or water activities in public pools if you have open lesions to prevent virus release. Regularly disinfect shared items, such as toys or gym equipment, to reduce the risk of transmission. Parents should monitor children's play and avoid direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with affected area. Do not touch or scratch lesions to prevent spreading the virus to other parts of the body. Consult a healthcare professional for diagnosis and guidance on appropriate management and treatment. Early intervention is crucial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more health-related content. If you have any questions or would like to share your experience with molluscum contagiosum, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Until next time.